Let's learn how to make acute lines using the compositor on normals in Blender. There are times when you really need to draw the fine line between an outline for a toon shader and, of course, your materials and objects. So that's what we're going to explore in this tutorial. So the first part is to create the shader, the actual shader that we're going to work with. And for that, we're going to take the normal average of the object and then we're going to invert it and then we're going to also take the UVs it's important that it has UVs the object needs to have UVs for this to work and then we're going to set it on a difference mode from an RGB node twice that's what we're going to do to get this uh, funky looking shader right here Notice that we're going to work in the shader window and now we're working on the compositor window. And the second thing that we're going to do is to set up the nodes in the compositor for this effect to work. So notice that shaders are one thing and node compositor nodes are another thing on another window. So make sure you go back and pause this. And this is the reason why I don't like to do quick tutorials because you really need to go step by step on this. And if I don't explain it by my voice and also with the graphics, then probably you will get lost. But if you have experience, then come along and follow this. So what we're doing right now is taking a special filter by using the selection sober and with that we're equalizing it to black and white lines and then inverting it so we can get this outline right here and finally we're adding a gamma correction to get really good contrast on the render image so it's basic that you have to have a render image on your image node by pressing f12 you're going to get a new image so if you change your camera it doesn't matter it will render absolutely marvelous with this technique. Remember, first thing, create a shader. Second thing, press F12 to get the render. Third thing, arrange the nodes on the compositor. Pretty easy. Now this has been only two minutes and 30 seconds. And now you have a perfect outline by normals with this technique. And if you think this was very easy, I congratulate you. Now let's go to the next level. You know, the kind that I really like to do. This is a Tourette machine doodle created by Master Sion. If you don't know him, you should because he's got a lot of amazing products on his page to create hard surfaces. So I bid you to uh, visit his channel. So here again, we're going to create the first part which consists of the outline by normals shaders which we already created on the first part. Now we're going to press F12. Fantastic. Now we have the rendered compositor ready to go. And I have my shader compositor over the right side. And here I have my preview. Okay, let's focus on, on the shader. Now you have the, the shader properties there. And over to this side, over to the left side, I have my compositor window. And we're going to check use nodes so we can use them and do not check backdrop because we have already an image up here on the image node editor. So let's go and shift A, let's add a filter and now type shift A again and now select viewer. And the filter, we're going to change the option to Sobel and also we're going to connect both lines here on the compositor viewer and that's what we're seeing here but we need to modulate this to a black and white image perfect okay so we have all this coloring image and now we're going to ramp it through a color ramp cool but it's inverted so let's switch this using an invert node okay so all the blacks will become white and all the whites will become black like Rocket would say, oh yeah, this is getting some form now. And now let's add another gamma node to get the contrast, bump it up all the way to 10. And from there on, you can dial in whatever factor you need, whatever number you need, so that you can see it very well. All right, this is mostly composited now, and this is how your notes should look. 
Remember, this is the compositor, and up here you can change the layer name for the render. And you can find that name all the way down here, where it says Weapon. In my case, I named it Weapon. And now if you want to change the scene node, you come all the way up here, switch the name, change the name, type, in my case, Outlines. And that's how it's going to be called. My scene is going to be called Outlines, and my scene contains a render layer, which is called Weapon. I hope you're getting this concept pretty clear. Again, this is why I don't like to do rush tutorials. I really like to take my time to explain everything you want to do here, but it's necessary. So how do you get your image window to be rendered like that? You come here to Preferences, open up Temporary Windows, and then select Image Editor. So that's how you get the image to be rendered in a window instead of a popping up window. So now let's check the complexity of this model. It doesn't matter how complex it is. It's going to recognize every normal it has by each element. This is also a pretty amazing model by Master Xeon. And I asked him for help to do a stress test on this kind of techniques. So definitely one of the things you want to check out is your render image size. I rendered this at 4K resolution and you can see the details there. But if you render at HD resolution, you may probably not get quite the quality of the line. For example, this part, even in, in 2D, this part is very difficult to represent, but I think this technique has made a wonderful job. It, it looks ready for a, a manga illustration, all right? You can also enhance this effect by activating freestyle, okay? So let's go through those settings. So you come here to the passes uh, properties and activate calling because we don't want to draw, you know, back backside parts, rename your freestyle layer. And also it, this can work with collections, but in our case, we're going to go to the freestyle line set style and then activate thickness. And in thickness, we're going to add a modifier. So select crease angle, use this settings right here for the min and the max angle leave them as default. So I'm going to add another one modifier and this is going to be the a long stroke modifier. I'm going to select a curve with a custom curve like you're seeing right here. And now I'm going to press F12 for the render. I'm rendering this at 4K resolution, so that's why it's taking a little bit more time, but it's gonna be well worth it because all the lines will have correctly distributed spaces between them, and then you can see the correct aspect separation, if we can say it so, from line to the outlines, internal lines for the outlines. So let's just give it a little bit of time and it's going to render. So don't worry about the funky colors, just like I told you. Now, this looks pretty cool actually, <laughs> and it can be used as as uh, a render pass for Iridsense if you want it. So anyways, once it's, it's done, you can see the progress down here on the bar, which says render progress 100%. And this is the render for the 4K resolution image. Okay, you may notice a lot of amazing details there, like the, the bolts, like the little handles that it has. It's, it's really amazing. And onto the backside, I deliberately hide the obscure uh, circular part. And now you can see, this is how you can get this amazing, neat, clean line for your renders, either if you're working for manga or if you're working for an animation, this is an amazing technique to get the outlines by normals. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button for instant notifications. I'm uploading videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday whenever possible in that order, so don't miss out any of the content we post on this channel. Also, if you want to expand your horizon on Blender 3D skills, interacting with other softwares, please consider supporting this channel by becoming a Patreon. There are specialized things I am sharing there for people who would like to expand their skills with Lens Studio, AR, models, and other things. Thank you so much with this week's Schiller Tips.